Well, hello to One Life LA. We are so happy to be with you today to come together to celebrate the irreplaceable value of One Life, of every human person. For more than two centuries, we as an American people have struggled to understand and to live fully the truth and the blessing of the sacredness of every human life. The history of our nation and the history of salvation are both stories of deliverance of men and women from bondage, from every form of human slavery and from the slavery to sin. The dignity of the human person demands the freedom for self-determination. In our nation, we have declared that no person may become the pawn, the possession, or the property of another. The reality of human trafficking in our land makes a mockery of our nation's noble ideal of freedom and seriously offends the dignity of the human persons caught up in this evil. I am proud, so proud to introduce to you today a witness to freedom, a woman of courage, a woman sustained by a strong sense of her own great dignity, a woman who successfully made the exodus from the bondage of her trafficker, and a woman who now fearlessly advocates to protect and help survivors of human trafficking. Please welcome Angela Guanzan. Thank you, sister. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Angela, I'm from the Philippines, and I'm a survivor of human trafficking. I came to the United States with a lawful visa and a promise to have a good job. I was offered a job by an employer whom I thought that I could trust. When I get to the United States, my passport was taken away from me by the person who offered me a job. And she told me, and she even hugged me and told me that we're gonna be like a family. I will help her with her business and she will take care of me. She told me that um, I owed her $12,000 for the transportation and visa, and I have to work for her for 10 years to pay it off. I work in an elderly care in a retirement home in Long Beach. My co-worker and I work 18 hours a day, seven days a week. We sleep on the floors in the hallways. We eat table scraps. She told us that if we try to escape, we will be deported by calling the police and telling them that we stole something from her and we will be in jail. We work long hours, so our neighbor always see us walking in front of the yard. The neighbor that we have, he always makes sure that he talks to us. And he even asks us every time if we're okay, you know, how are we doing? He takes time to talk to us. But my trafficker told us that we cannot trust other people, especially white people. So I'm scared to, to tell him the truth, you know, about the situation. But luckily, I was rescued by the FBI through the neighbor that uh, noticed that, uh, that always talked to us. My trafficker pleaded guilty, and he, she was sentenced for five years. And now, I'm a survivor, uh, I'm a survivor and a member of uh, Survivor Advisory Caucus and a National Survivor Network. We are a group of survivor learning leadership and advocacy skills to raise awareness and influence policies to help better and protect the survivor of human trafficking. As a member of caucus in the National Survivor Network, I met a lot of survivors who were victimized by all circumstances in all forms. Together, we traveled to Sacramento to advocate past the bills. Like last year, we had the SB 477, is the Foreign Labor Recruitment Bill a bill that I helped to develop so that what happened to me would not ha happen to anybody else. I also speak nationally to a group of caring people like all of you that are here, letting you know that you can all make all difference in preventing the modern day slavery. As a member of the caucus and the National Survivor Network, I met a lot of survivors who were uh, rescued by the neighbor like I was. I'm just letting you know that we all, we have to be observant. The people that we meet every day, that we see every day, we have to take time 
to talk to them in, in anywhere, in the nail salon, massage parlor, in a restaurant, or even in the hospital, be observant. If you think there's something going on, call the hotline. They will investigate, and who knows? At least you try, and maybe you help one, at least one life. I'm so thankful that you guys are here. I hope you learn from today. You spread the words that modern day slavery is still happening. It still exists here in our backyard. And we, are, can, all be, we can all be a part of the solution to eliminate it. So I hope you guys, you spread the words and thank you for coming.